this exercise is a great exercise for the back of the body. It gets the uh, pretty much everything from the toes to the to the top of the neck. Um, if you push everything into the table, it's touching the table. Push the toes in, push the hands and elbows and shoulders in, and push your head back into the table. You'll get a lot of the muscles in the posterior chain of the body. That first level progression was about shoulder width apart with the feet. Here we're going to go uh, closed knees need to get the uh, inner thighs and medial hamstrings working a lot more. Again, squeezing the butt as you go up to get the butt really stabilized in the back. You want to keep your back nice and arched. It should be pretty easy to keep the back arched in this exercise. So just really squeeze your butt to help reinforce the spine. Then here we have a progression, a little wider stance, and you're just going to work the back of the body a little bit differently, especially the back of the legs. You'll probably feel a lot of glutes and all the hamstrings are going to do a lot here, uh, the lateral and the medial. Again, pushing your arms and head into the table to continue to work the upper body as well. This is going to work all the posterior chain, so really really use that upper body too don't don't neglect it here we got a calf raise progression um, you can just dig your toes into the ground keep the heels up and then continue with the concentric contractions you could also do isometric holds on this I may do some here in a little bit yep, there we go um, keeping the thumbs out like hitchhiker position will be good to work the external rotators of the sh shoulder the rotator cuff so here we're just doing a narrow stance, calf raise, hold. Oh, no, no, up and down with the butt here. Again, holding it at the top when you're about to be done to really work the muscles hard. So this nef next progression, we'll be using a foam roller. A lot of people have these at home for uh, like self massage techniques. So we like to use it to uh, work out. It's a great uh, semi-unstable platform in which to have to work more muscles to stabilize on. So here we're just putting the arches of the feet on the foam roller about shoulder width apart and doing the similar exercises from before where we're pushing the butt up. So by gripping the toes in to the, uh, the foam roller, you can get a lot more of the foot, you know, toe, the foot, the arch, the ankles, and the calves also giving the uh, hamstrings and the rest of the body a different uh, stimulus. Now here's a little higher progression. Now I'm going to go up on the toes. Um, it's very challenging on the calves obviously and all the muscles of the toes have to work a lot to help the gastroc and the calf muscles stabilize the ankle. So this is really really good for strengthening the feet if you're a barefoot runner or if you work out barefoot. Again, we're still pushing into the table with the hands and the head to work the, all, all of the back of the body from the toes up. In this case, you're literally working every muscle in the back of the body. And the toes, the, the underneath the foot, the muscles that make up the toes are actually the beginning of the posterior chain of the body. So, gotta work those guys. Now I'm gonna go uh, one leg uh, variation. Um, try to keep the knees mostly in line. Oh, and then we're gonna add a hip flexion uh, into the uh, into the exercise. Still really pressing up with that right butt cheek. Squeezing the glutes the whole time to stabilize the pelvis. And what you'll notice is you're trying to keep that pelvis from dipping too much so you gotta really squeeze the butt uh, especially the left butt cheek and then really draw your navel in so really tighten your midsection down to help you uh, to use your core to stabilize your hips as well and your spine. So here we're going to do concentrics, up and down. This will burn out your calves and toe flexors very quickly. 